Hello, my name is Dernan, and this is episode two of my Let's Build Trains, or Trains, but whatever. Anyway, um, I've been quite busy. Uh, I know a couple weeks have passed since I last posted a video, but uh, uh, in the last uh, week or so, I've really been busy here on the uh, the railroad, and uh, I was gonna uh, the next my next plan was to, to put in this river and uh, these hills and do a few other things. Uh, a few things, a few minor changes in, uh, in what I had planned, but uh, I'll show you what that is in a minute. Plus, I've done some, some other stuff that I had in, in, in mind. So let's get started. I did add, um, where is it? Right in here. I remembered these little, that I needed to add um, oil. Um, stands for uh, oil burning locomotives uh, for the oil tenders to to fuel up uh, excuse me and uh, I added uh, this track back here to uh, bring oil and diesel uh, fuel to the uh, to the uh, facilities here as you can see I also uh, painted the ground put it made it dirty and some grass and, and whatnot put in the ballast for the tracks uh, I dug this uh, river out um, and it goes all the way back to the to the water back that way. Um, I'm probably going to raise the, the bottom of this and all the others because it looks a little too deep. Um, I'm using black uh, paint for the very bottom of the, the water um, because usually uh, you can't really see what's down there anyway so I didn't want to paint it all you know rocks and dirt and mud like that because uh, usually uh, all it is is all you really see is the water and what's reflecting off of it. So, um, and then I put in a, a bridge here. It took me a long time to find some lift bridges uh, that that I liked uh, that were small enough for this river here. Um, but I found this one, and uh, even it was a little bit too long, so I made, I made the water a little wider than I had originally planned. Um, but I wanted a lift bridge back here because I keep saying back here. I'll show you why in a minute. I wanted a lift bridge uh, here because uh, I felt this this waterway was kind of a canal. Um, I haven't built further that way. I have put hills back here though. And over here, I decided to put the main river. I originally hadn't planned to put a river here, but I decided I want a, a large river. And you can in the distance. Uh, I'll get to that stuff in a minute. I wanted a large river because I wanted more bridges over here. Um, as you can see, the yard comes up here. Again, I'll get to that stuff in a minute. Exciting stuff over there. Because I wanted to put in more bridges over here. Um, downtown for my city is going to be off in the distance this direction. Um, and here we've got uh, the railroad. The main line comes north um, and crosses this river. Another lift bridge right here. Um, and then over here we've got a, a four-lane street uh, with a, a lift bridge of its own. Um, I wanted this river to be somewhat navigable um, upriver. And uh, here I wanted a, uh, a long highway bridge, large highway bridge. I would have liked if it had been a little taller than this, but just like the rail bridges, in fact, even harder to find. Uh, than the rail bridges uh, was were, were good um, tall highway bridges or, or roadway bridges. This is actually two bridges side by side. If you look at the um, the uh, way the cars going and the stripes, the paint stripes in the middle there. Uh, but from the train level, you can't really see that. So now over here, I've been busy. Um, this is just the southern end of this bay, the harbor. Over there is going to be downtown. There's going to be more harbor stuff along this side. Uh, this will be more older, 50s era um, docks and whatnot. Got a bunch of little fishing boats over there and a couple uh, fishing canneries, whatever. Um, but this stuff over here hasn't been done. I've just kind of plopped a couple things. Over here um, is uh, a more modern dockyard area. Um, well, we've got uh, a small boat there, some cranes, whatnot. These are a couple of uh, dry docks. 
Um, and over here we've got a uh, modern container dock. This is actually really small for a container dock. I've, I've squished this many cranes and whatnot in here, but there's no storage space uh, for them to... to uh, they didn't store stuff long term. They don't store stuff long term, but uh, they got to have some place to plop stuff while they uh, organize it and then put it on trucks and trains and, and of course, outgoing ships also. So um, I may have to expand this. I may end up taking out uh, like this uh, dry dock here and moving this uh, dock further over so that there is much more container space here. Uh, we got a couple container ships there and then over here this is uh, for grain ships uh, to come in pick up grain and then take it overseas and so that's all served by this one rail line comes over here under the bridge and, and whatnot um, this is the entrance to the uh, container yard so there's a gatehouse there Yesterday, I got to work over here. I'd already placed the rails and, and uh, most of the buildings, um, but uh, I got a little more detailed on it yesterday. This here is a cement uh, silos. It's not the factory. Cement is brought here uh, and then loaded on trucks to be taken around the city to uh, uh, to be used for construction. Um, this building here is actually. Um, this building, actually I don't have a purse for it, I just wanted something. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do it. I still need to put in the grade crossing right here. Um, right now it's just uh, tracks and road. I don't have any signals to keep cars and trains from running into each other. Um, and then here we have a series of warehouses and light factories um, and then various uh, industry yard I mean industry tracks uh, to fill them out here we've got a couple of um, tracks for, for switchers to come in and divide things up or, or put things together then haul whatever or it can be used for storage um, then we've got pretty much the same thing going on over here um, various industries and warehouses and stuff and I've added details like forklifts and trailers and trucks and look at the detailing on this truck I think that's pretty cool um, and uh, lots of cars and whatnot in here over here took me a long time to find some uh, large uh, tanks like this uh, that fit what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm still not 100% happy with them. I would prefer if the ladders or s steps wrapped around, but uh, these will do. Um, there are some that do the, the, the wrap around, but the graphics on them aren't quite uh, as nice as I'd like. Uh, this truck was also made by the same guy that made that other one. Very detailed. Considering they could have just, you know, slapped together some like, four or five flat uh, planes. Some models are like that. Anyway, uh, this uh, is where gasoline and, and other things or the fuels are brought to the city. Um, then you got your gasoline trucks uh, pick up their loads and take them to the gas stations, whatnot, that kind of thing, etc., etc. Uh, I plan to extend the rails across the river here and head north. Same with this road. Uh, there will be a road already over here. Um, and that road will just uh, T-junction with it. These tracks will come across and they'll head north. There will be more uh, docks and whatnot on this side uh, between the hills and the uh, the water. Uh, this is that water, that, uh, that canal, or it's, it's kind of a river. I did have the bank straight, but um, basically this whole area is kind of like the delta for the, the, the larger river. Um, as it enters this this bay. The outlet to the bay from the bay to the ocean will be towards the north. Uh, Over at this end, uh, this will be downtown. Over in this way, here we'll have uh, 
brick factory or factories made of brick, brick buildings, old factories, whatnot. Um, uh, in the distance, there will be hills and mountains beyond that. I'm not sure how far north this will go, um, but uh, it'll be more or less like it is here, with more buildings on this side, hills over there, bailhead north uh, to the outlet to the sea out there. Um, so uh, that's what I've been up to here, uh, mostly uh, working on this area. I still have to put in the residential area. I've been having a tough time finding houses that really look like like houses here in the northwest. These kind of fit. I mean, I've, I've seen plenty of houses like that here in the northwest. But there's there, there's a lot of houses of the style you'd see in the northeast and the midwest, um, but uh, not so much here in the northwest. Um, so I'll probably, you know, I don't have to put, you know, every single house in here and, and to make sure that the houses look like northwestern houses. Most of those just have to be here near the rails. Then everything else can be generic and and whatnot, and just make it look like lots of housing. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, I'll probably be putting in more industry in here. Not all of it's going to be rail uh, connected. Um, and uh, same over here. I need to put in more roads. Um, there needs to be some roads on this side to to reach these buildings. And, and uh, there's still a lot of work to do, um, but I wanted to share what what I've gotten done and uh, where things are at right now. So uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, feel free to add them uh, below in the comment section. And uh, and. Uh, if you haven't seen the, the previous videos, or video, only one so far in the series, go ahead and watch that one. And uh, it'll give you an idea of what I have planned for the entire uh, railroad. This is just the northern end. And uh, anyway, um, thank you for watching.